During the Second World War, the Germans were terrified of a particular bomber regiment that consisted of young Soviet women. In fact, one German soldier was rewarded with the Iron Cross for successfully shooting down some of these women. These fearless aviators were part of the 46th Taman Guards Night Bomber Aviation Regiment, famously known as the Night Witches. The 588th Night Bomber Regiment, originally known as the 588th Night Bomber Regiment, was founded by Marina Raskova, a renowned Soviet pilot often referred to as the Russian Amelia Earhart. Raskova approached Joseph Stalin with the idea of creating a regiment of female flyers to defend Russia, and he agreed, albeit with ulterior motives of using them for propaganda. The 508th, along with the 586th and 587th regiments, formed the 122nd Composite Air Group and were deployed on October 8, 1941, with the 588th gaining the most recognition. Despite being allowed to fight, the women in the Soviet Air Force faced discrimination and disrespect from their male counterparts. They were provided with inadequate uniforms, ill-fitting shoes, and subpar equipment. Shockingly, they were sent on bombing missions without essential tools like guns, radios, radar, or parachutes, although the latter changed in 1944. Additionally, they were assigned outdated aircraft originally meant for training and crop dusting, which were later redesignated as Po-2s in 1944. The U-2, although not designed as a bomber, presented several challenges for the Night Witches. Its slow speed made them easy targets for German fighters, and its canvas and wood construction made it prone to catching fire when hit. Additionally, the U-2 could only carry a limited amount of explosives, forcing the regiment to fly multiple small runs and have airfields closer to the front lines. These brave female pilots flew under the cover of darkness, ruthlessly targeting German soldiers, earning them the fearsome nickname of the Night Witches. The Night Witches' successful tactics were attributed to their stealthy approach. By idling their U-2's engines, they could sneak up on their targets undetected, gliding through the air like a whisper. The Germans, mistaking the sound for a witch's broomstick, gave them their nickname, which the women proudly embraced as a symbol of their formidable skills. The night witches carried out over 23,600 sorties, unleashing more than 26,000 incendiaries and 3,000 tons of bombs on enemy targets during their active years from June 28, 1942, to October 15, 1945. The Night Witches, a group of fearless female pilots, were responsible for destroying railways, fuel depots, warehouses, and armored vehicles, as well as dropping supplies to Soviet ground troops. Their most notable missions included defending Vladikavkaz, engaging in aerial combat over Kuban, supporting troops during the kerch eltigen operation, and participating in the East Prussian offensive. Throughout World War II, 261 women served as night witches, with 32 losing their lives and 28 aircraft being lost. Their bravery earned them between 2330 Hero of the Soviet Union awards. After the war, the night witches, despite their impressive achievements, were not allowed to fly alongside the men in the victory parade held in Moscow. Their slow aircraft was cited as the reason for their exclusion. Although women were technically considered equals in society, many of the night witches faced pressure to give up their flying careers and focus on starting a family. Irina Rakobolskaya expressed the sentiment that women could only fly for sport in peacetime, as combining a career with family and maternal happiness seemed incompatible.